following integral. So what's going to happen here is we need to assign. I've got the integration by parts formula up there. But we need to assign specifically. So we'll set, um, we'll go ahead and we'll set um, u, not u, or u equal to x. And we'll set um, v equal to e raised to the 5x. You could call these like f of x or g of x too. It doesn't matter. So what we'll have here is we'll integrate. We'll have um, x and then the d or dv and we'll have um the integral of e raised to the 5x which is going to be 1 over 5 times e raised to the 5x and actually this shouldn't even be here and then minus the integral of the derivative of u which is 1 times the derivative or the antiderivative of e raised to the 5x Okay, so we ultimately end up with one fifth x e raised to the five x. And then when we integrate this again, so it's basically just, since it's one, it makes it really easy. We just, the, the, the antiderivative or of uh, one fifth e raised to the five x is going to be one over 25 e raised to the five x and then plus c. That's it. I mean, I guess you could factor out, well, not excluding the C, you could factor out a one fifth or something like that, but that should work out uh, fine as it is. Oh, and an E raised to the five X. So, all right. I hope this helped you out. Appreciate you watching. Have a great day.